a phone case. So right here, I just have the phone case. And I'm just going to measure it. I actually don't have a ruler. So I'm going to be a little ghetto and use just a. So I'm going to do the length and the width. Just so I can get a gist of how big I need to edit my photo to. So I'm just going to take it. And the white space is the only space that you need to measure. Because that will be the only space that the picture is on. And then you can just write down your measurements or type it down somewhere. I'm just going to write it in my notes because each time I make a new phone case, I write down the measurements so that I already have them. So 5.2 inches for the length and for the width. about 2.4 inches for the width and so I just type that into my my notes just so I can have that for future references and the next thing I'm going to do is upload my photo and edit it so I'm using silhouette studio to change the measurements of um, my photo and so again i type it in my notes and so for this is for an iphone x again so the length or the height is 5.2 so in height i'm going to type in 5.2 and then hope it didn't take so 5.2 and then the width is 2.4 I believe I'll check it again after so let's see so yeah 2.4 and 2.4 and 5.2 and so then as you can see the measurements are like that and then I'm going to press send to printer and then print, and then I'm gonna print it. Yep, everything is good, and then I'm gonna print. This is an Epson ET2720 that I transferred into a sublimation printer. All I did was change the inks out. There was no really conversion. I have the, the like metal plate for the case and so I'm just going to kind of put that over or behind just I'm going to put it over at first just to see um, just to see how it'll fit and so I do that Just to make sure there will be no like white spaces or anything. And it looks like it will. So I might have to make it a little bit wider and a little bit thicker. And I also forgot to flip it. Because once you put it on the plate, you have to like do it the opposite way. So I need to flip the picture. As well as make it a little bit bigger. Again, with these things, it's trial and error. Sometimes I'm just going to just make it a little bit bigger and then also you want to flip it horizontally so that's what I didn't do it the first time that you should do every time we're printing phone cases because um, you have to turn the plate the the opposite direction. 
And so I'm just getting more sublimation paper to put in my planter. And this is the sublimation paper that I use. I use this sublimation print paper. I got it off Amazon. So yeah. And then I'm going to once again go to print and print this out to see if this size will work better. Okay, and then now again, I'm just going to try to see if this works. And just make sure that if it's and that none of the like really important parts are cut off like there are going to be some parts that cut off but just make sure that you you're able to see them all and actually i think it should go this way yeah it should go this way and this works there would be a little piece cut off but it's only like the ear and the top of the hoodie so now we're going to yep it fits perfectly and so now actually i'm going to type in these dimensions just to make sure for my next case that i know the dimensions <clears throat> and it's 2.5 for the width and 5.4 for the height And so now I have those measurements for next time. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this towel down. It's just so that the surface of well, my table, so that just in case if the heat goes through the table, I mean goes through the other things, that my table won't burn. So, yeah. I'm just going to put that right here. And then I'm going to put this paper on top of that but it's called parchment paper and then I'm going to plug my iron up I just use a regular iron I don't have a appreciate but this works just as well all you need is heat basically something to press down with that has heat only thing about the iron, if you're trying to sublimate something bigger, it'll probably be harder. So, yeah. So, there's a plastic cover on this. So, the first thing you want to do is take that off. The first time, I did not know it was a plastic cover on here because it is so thin and I burnt it. I literally burnt it. So, just going to remove that. And so, you just want to peel that all the way off. And peel that off. And then you want to align your case the way you want it. So, I'm just going to do that. And just make sure all the areas you want to cover is covered. Okay, so you want to take your heat tape and then just what I like to do is put one right over the middle just so that it can stay in place while I take the sides down. probably don't have to put this much tape i just like to be secure because one time i did it and didn't tape it down enough and it started going and it messed up the prints 
but you do not have to do this. You can honestly take the sides and then tape it maybe once down the middle. And honestly, it should be fine. I just, I'm just extra. Now that I have this, I'm going to put my paper right here. And then I'm going to put this paper on top of it. Then the iron is hot. I'm not sure. That's the only thing about like doing the iron. I'm not sure what degree it's on. But on the dial it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's on five. So I can look that up and see what um heat is on. But then I'm just going to put it over the case. And you really don't have to apply pressure, but I do just to make sure that the heat is getting everywhere and then I just let it sit for a second. Then I take the thing off because sometimes that doesn't like get it done. And then I want to press down for a little bit. You don't want to do too long just by yourself because you don't just in case you don't want anything to burn. But I haven't had any problems with any of these items burning while leaving it on. touch it when it is hot because it is metal and like even if you put your hand like right close to it you can literally feel the heat so you just want to let that sit for a little bit but if you do want to check it like i like to check it because sometimes my corners are not right then you can like peel it up with the tape peel up the tape the tape is isn't hot so you can peel that up just to kind of get a peek and see if it's sublimating right. It kind of looks like it did for the most part. Again, it's really hot, so you want to be careful when removing it. down so you can try removing it and I say try peeling the tape and slowly removing it and kind of right here it actually didn't like it didn't transfer as good as I needed to so I'm going to retape that back down and put the heat on it some more just so that it can get all back up in. I'm just pulling it back and everything looks good. So, and then you can see, then I'm just going to peel the tape off 
the aluminum plate. And put it on here so I can throw it away. And don't forget to unplug your iron. So that I can um, stick the kids. So as you can see, I have my this aluminum thing and it's done. I transferred everything over. And so you get this part of the case. And what you're going to do is peel this. It's like a sticky part. And you just peel that back and then place this inside here like this and you want to be really careful because this is very 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 sticky and once it's down it is down you're not going to be able to lift it back up really so just peel this off and then i line the corners up of this so i put it in the corner I'll press down and then it's in there and you've made your case so then you can press down on the edges just to make sure everything is secure and it is and then they come inside these things and i'm just going to put the case in here just so that it doesn't mess up or anything and then i'm going to place my business card in here and close it up and i was ready to go out